My research area mainly is in uh, VitaSci chip design, and VitaSci stands for Very Large Scale Integration. This is an 8-inch wafer with microprocessors on this wafer. The majority of my research activities uh, are in design of those silicon chips, and that involves designing circuits for those silicon chips, and how do we actually design them to make them run faster? And how do we design them to make them run more reliably? And how do we design them to burn less power? The silicon technology is, is evolving very rapidly, or has been. Um, according to Moore's law, which is we still follow very closely, and the silicon chip, its density, the, the number of transistors on a chip, and its performance is still doubling every 18 months. So that provides a, a, a huge challenge as far as designing those chips are concerned, that we need to keep up the pace in terms of productivity, in terms of how we can actually make them still follow the Moore's law to design a chip so that the speed doubles every 18 months. And I think the entire industry is working in towards that direction. So from academics' point of view, we need to do research to address some of the challenging issues uh, in that area to further push the technology towards that curve in Moore's Law to um, make the silicon chip cost less and run faster and do more things. I think the nature of my research area is really um, trying to serve the multi-billion dollar industry in the U.S. Um, this is the area where industry is putting billions and billions of dollars every year to try to get a new innovation going. Um, so it is absolutely essential in my mind as a faculty member to be working with the industry out there to find out what is the cutting edge problems that they see and they may not have resources or time to do this but we will spend our time trying to solve some of the problems, collaborate, work with them, and understand their problem. That's what I see as the greatest benefit to my research is that I bring in very up-to-date problems from industry and, and work on them. On the teaching side, working with industry also brings a huge benefit to bringing um, the cutting edge knowledge, how people design cutting edge chips into the classroom. I teach uh, digital system designs, computer systems, computer architectures, and computer science system designs in, at, at SESU. All those topics are directly related to what's going on in industry. Microelectronics and VLSI is a very exciting area to grow still in the next 10, 20, 30 years. There are a lot of great opportunities still out there. Colorado State is a great institution located in a very beautiful Rocky Mountain region and we have a great local support from local industry and we have a world class research facility here uh, to uh, conduct world-class research. So come along.